Good evening, I'm Vincent McCorry. This is Africa 54. Tonight, a violent hotel attack in Somalia has killed at least 10 people, including Mogadishu's Deputy Mayor Mohamed Adin Gulad. Somali officials say Deputy Prime Minister Mohamed Omar Arte was among uh, those wounded when a cab bomb was triggered just after guests finished praying Friday at the Central Hotel. A VOA report in Mogadishu says a second explosion and gunfire was also part of the deadly attack. A Somali security, a Somali security agent spokesman says a, a car filled with explosives was moved onto the hotel grounds during the prayer session. Authorities say an investigation is underway to find out who detonated the vehicle. Officials also said the hotel guards are being questioned. Uh, the central hotel is popular with members of parliament and government ministers. President Hassan Sheikh Mohammed uh, condemned the attack via Twitter, calling the incident an outrage and saying his thoughts are with those who were wounded. A witness explains how he avoided being killed. I escaped through the rear exit of the hotel, but on my way out, I saw a lot of people lying dead on the ground. While well, the terrorist group Al-Shabaab has claimed responsibility for the attack, in recent years the Islamist extremist organization has carried out repeated attacks on government and civilian targets in Somalia as part of what it says is an effort to establish its version of Islamic law.